Looking up into the night sky and seeing a meteor shower is always a spectacular sight that not everyone gets to experience, but throughout the Earth's history there have been some that came a little too close for comfort, and some that have changed the course of history forever. So join us for today's video as we take a look at 15 of the largest meteor impacts in history. Number 15. Tunguska To kick off our list, we're starting in the cold area of Siberia. On June 30, 1908, a pretty sizable meteor crashed down in Siberia's Tunguska River, causing a pretty big splash and an explosion. No one really knew for sure what was going on, and since this was well before Google, the locals were left scratching their heads trying to figure things out. The indigenous population at the time, the Ivenki, reported that their livestock had been suddenly thrown into the air by a shockwave after witnessing a bright light that researchers and historians say would have been visible all the way in London. And to top things off, the explosion also flattened 200 square kilometers of trees around the lake. And by today's standards, there isn't exactly an obvious crater, and it is accepted by many that nearby Lake Checo is exactly that. This is where the theory, though, that the explosion was caused by an enormous and sudden, well, burp of natural gas, but the Lake Checo theory seems to check out as more plausible. Number 14. Chelyabinsk Not too long ago, in the year 2013, residents of Chelyabinsk, a city in southwest Russia, were greeted by strange lights falling from the sky. It wasn't UFOs or an alien attack, but plenty of the locals were left puzzled as they filmed the incident. So what exactly was going on here? While astronomers had also been expecting a large meteor they named 2012 DA14 to pass very, very close to the Earth on the exact same day that the folks in Chelyabinsk saw the strange phenomenon. But by pure coincidence, the light over Chelyabinsk was a totally different meteor. Talk about strange. But this large piece of rock that came down was called a chondrite, which is a non-metallic meteorite. But the meteor had also come apart during its entry into our atmosphere, which caused some serious extra damage. Scientists were able to infer that the original rock measured in at just 19 meters in diameter. But still, that's a pretty big rock. The shockwave was so big that it blew glass windows out of homes and buildings in the area, and unfortunately injured over a thousand people. Number 13. Moral Quang. Moving things over to South Africa, home of Moral Quang, an enormous ancient crater sitting on the edge of the Kalahari Desert that most likely dates all the way back to the Cretaceous period, when dinosaurs were still roaming the Earth. But because it was so old, the crater itself had weathered away over the course of almost 150 million years, so it wasn't as obvious a discovery as you may think. Scientists only stumbled upon it because of the circular magnetic anomalies within the rock in the 1990s, but it wouldn't gain traction or notoriety until 2006. Researchers were drilling pretty deep into the crater, about 770 meters in, and found a 25-centimeter fragment of the original meteorite. It's pretty amazing that something that small could help create a crater 70 kilometers wide. But the scientists also agreed that an impact that could create such an enormous crater would have to be so strong with the meteor moving so fast that it would produce a hole that would melt the meteorite beyond recognition. Let's just say it's a good thing that no one was around that long ago to witness such a calamitous impact, and let's hope another one doesn't happen again. Number 12. Allen Hills 84001 the meteor known as Allen Hills 84001 left a pretty big impact despite only weighing 176 grams. It started its life on the surface of Mars around 15 million years ago, but a huge asteroid impact there caused this piece of Martian rock to float through space before finding its way into Earth's orbit. Then the atmosphere and then the ground in Antarctica 13,000 years ago. It's a strange history for sure. But it wasn't until 1996 that people started to care about it, let alone hear about it. That's because scientists thought that it may contain some signs of alien life, but they're not talking about little green men here, demanding to be taken to our leader. No, sometimes you have to think smaller, like microscopic. The researchers lucky enough to analyze this meteorite had found what they at the time believed were the outlines of tiny cells, organic molecules, and deposits containing iron that were similar to those produced by some of the Earth's bacteria. And naturally, the news made plenty of headlines and even guarded the attention of President Bill Clinton. But unfortunately for the nerds and alien conspiracy theorists out there, it turns out that Allen Hill's 84001 was just a regular old piece of rock, devoid of extraterrestrial life. But it still can boast the fact that it's the oldest piece of Mars ever found here on Earth. Number 11. Rotor Cam 
you can find the next big crater in the Namib Desert in Namibia, better known as Rotokam. This crater is two and a half kilometers in diameter. It's more than one and a half miles, and it's 400 feet deep. It's not the type of place you want to fall into, so if you ever do visit Rotokam to see what all the fuss is about, then you better bring some rope or a ladder. The crater was created by a meteor the size of a large automobile about 3.7 million years ago, and if you're flying overhead, it probably looks more like a crater on the surface of the moon than it does as just another feature on the Earth. But even if you're down on the ground, the crater is still fully visible. Rotorcam's floor is also covered in sand deposits at least 300 feet thick, which has been accumulating since its formation. Something that wide and deep must have been accompanied by a pretty loud bang, too. And to make it even cooler, the orange and red color of the Namib Desert makes Rotorcam look like you've entered a Martian landscape. Number 10. Kali Crater The Kali Crater in Estonia is a cool little crater that's become a pretty popular tourist spot over the years as well. It's not hard to see why. The Kali Crater was created by a meteorite that touched down on the Earth's surface between the 4th and 8th centuries BC. It's a pretty big ballpark figure, but either way, it's old. On its way down through our atmosphere, it broke apart when it reached an altitude of about 3.5 to 6 miles up. So instead of one giant rock, the old-time folks below were treated to a shower of them. The largest crater is 360 feet wide and over 72 feet deep, which is still pretty impressive considering how big it could have been if the meteor stayed intact during its entry. The Kali Crater has a diameter of just over a mile long, but the impact also created eight smaller craters close by. Then there was also the forest of the Estonian island that scientists and researchers say was most likely burnt down from the heat and the force of the meteor crashing into the ground. On the brighter side, the Kali Crater has become a part of a lot of Estonian myths, including one about the legendary Thule Island. Number 9. Kanomer Crater In the western part of the Sahara Desert in Mauritania is quite a specimen when it comes to meteor craters. The Tenomra Crater is a biggie. It's 1.2 miles wide and has an incredibly tall rim at 330 feet high. But the coolest part has got to be the fact that the crater forms a perfect circle, which is not something you're going to find very often in nature. Despite its spot on our list, it's been long debated as to what exactly caused the crater. Originally, many firmly believed that the crater was caused actually by a volcano. And there was a brief moment in time when this was the general consensus. But as with science, there's always work to be done. After a much closer examination of the Tenomar Crater, it was found that what once was believed to be hardened lava was actually rock that had melted from the initial meteor impact. So there you go. The meteor that caused this perfect circle in the Earth made an impact about 10,000 to 30,000 years ago. Number 8. Monteraki Crater If you've ever been to Chile, then it's quite possible that you've heard of the Monteraki Crater. Located south of Chile's Salar de Atacama, the meteor that caused this crater left a really big impact on the landscape. The Monteraki Crater has a nasty diameter of over 1,500 feet and goes down to about 100 feet deep. So if you do somehow fall in, you'll be falling for some time before you hit the bottom. The Monteraki Crater is a relic left behind by a meteor that found its way to Earth around a million years ago. But given its longevity and the arid volcanic conditions of the area, which allow the crater to remain pretty visible still to this day, this crater also has the interest of plenty of geologists because it shares a striking similarity to another crater found on Mars by the Spirit rover in 2004. Could these similarities be because of alien influence? Eh, probably not. But it's still pretty cool to think that the surface of both the Earth and Mars may not be as different as we think. Number 7. Goss Bluff Australia is home to plenty of geological marvels, and the Goss Bluff crater is no exception. But this crater was made by a meteor impact that happened 142 million years ago. But that also means it's had 142 million years worth of erosion, changing the look and the landscape. So as it stands today, the Goss Bluff crater is a whopping 4 miles across. But scientists have said that it was even bigger all those years ago, much bigger, with a diameter of almost 14 miles. The site is also a very important place for the Western Arnett Aboriginal people of Australia, who have named Goss Bluff Tenorella. And for them, Tenorella is an incredibly sacred place, and it's no wonder why, seeing as how it's a marvel of both nature and time. Number 6. Swain Crater Not all the meteors and meteorites are created equally. So, some are obviously larger than others, but some are made with different materials altogether, and the meteor that created the Swain Crater in South Africa was made of chondrite. 
this chondrite meteor that came hurtling through the Earth's atmosphere was about 100 to 165 feet in diameter, which needless to say is enormous, and it crashed down some 220,000 years ago. It managed to dig so deep that a small lake formed in the crater that's now filled with spring and rainwater. Plenty of tools that date all the way back to the Stone Age have also been found in and around the Sawing Crater, proving that the site was regularly visited by humans as hunting grounds to collect salt, which was once a precious commodity. When European settlers began moving into the area, they named the region Zutpan or Salt Pan, but the local Suwana tribes named it Suwaing, meaning place of salt. Number 5. Pingaluit Crater If the calendar hanging from your wall goes far back enough, then you'll see the meteor that created the Pingaluit Crater in Quebec, Canada. But it has to let you go back some 1.4 million years. The force created by this meteor is almost one of a kind, delivering 8,500 times worth of Hiroshima-sized atomic bombs. Yeah, that's pretty insane. The crater itself is 2.1 miles in diameter and rises a whopping 520 feet around the tundra that's 1,300 feet deep. The Pingaluit crater may well have had its own area code at this point. Then there's even a lake that's formed at the very bottom of the crater that's got a depth of 890 feet. But to make things really interesting, the lake of the Pingaluit crater has some of the purest water in the world. The lake doesn't have any inlets or outlets that we know of, meaning that it's made purely out of rain and snow, which would account for the purity. And any time the lake does recede, it's purely from evaporation. But it's highly unlikely that it will ever run dry. The Pingaluit crater, though, wasn't discovered until 1943 by the United States Air Force during a meteorological flight. And a little fun fact, Pingaluit means where the land rises in the local indigenous language. Number 4. Amgud Crater in the grand scheme of life, the Amgud crater in Algeria is still just a kid. That's because it's only about 100,000 years old. It's found in one of the country's more remote areas, but like an earlier entry on our list, the meteor in question somehow managed to form a perfect circle. It's 1,476 feet in diameter and about 100 feet deep, but the top rim is where it gets really cool because it's completely covered by blocks of sandstones that are several yards in diameter. Think of it as the salt rim on your margarita. And speaking of salt, the bottom of the crater is nice and tough because it's not only flat, but filled with compacted Aeolian salts. Number 3. Wolf Creek Crater Turn the clock back about 300,000 years, and we've got the meteorite that crashed in Australia to create the Wolf Creek Crater. Boy oh boy, was it a biggie. Scientists can infer the meteorite weighed an absolutely ridiculous 50,000 tons. And when it hit the dirt down here, it left a crater of about 2,800 feet in diameter. Wow, that's big. The Wolf Creek Crater is almost 400 feet deep. But in the 300,000 years since the creation of the crater, the area's winds blew enough sand in there to fill up about half of the hole itself. The rim rises about 82 feet above the surrounding desert flatlands. To this day, there are still iron meteorites being dug up around the vicinity of the crater. Wolf Creek Crater is another site that wasn't discovered until 1947 during an aerial survey of the land, but it's also said that local aboriginal populations have known about the crater for thousands of years. Looks like the local governments have a lot of learning and catching up to do. Number 2. Barringer Crater The most well-known and well-preserved crater on Earth is the Barringer Crater out in Flagstaff, Arizona. It was named after Dalen Barringer, who was the first person to suggest that it was in fact produced by a meteor impact as opposed to volcanic activity. Interestingly enough, the Barringer Crater is now owned by his family, who call it Meteor Crater or Arizona Crater, maybe to take some of the heat off of the family name. The Barringer Crater has a diameter of 4,000 feet and is 570 feet deep, with a 148-foot rim, making it much, much higher than the surrounding plain. It's a young one, though, because it was only created about 40,000 years ago from an iron meteorite some 55 yards across, but weighing a few hundred thousand tons. So you can only imagine what the impact may have looked and sounded like. Researchers have hypothesized that the meteor struck the Earth at an insane speed of 28,000 miles per hour. Number 1. Chicxulub Crater Well, it's time for the granddaddy of them all. The Chicxulub Crater was created by the most famous cataclysmic event of all time, which is of course the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs and three quarters of all life on the planet. The meteor hit 65 million years ago and left behind one of the most recessed craters in the world. 
When the meteor hit, the Earth's crust itself poured out of the crater, creating and then collapsing mountains over 8,000 feet high in just three minutes. It's hard to even imagine an event like that, and hopefully there another one won't happen again. The Chicxulub crater is located in Haiti, and all around the impact zone are layers of iridium-rich and shocked quartz, sediments that have been eroded and reworked by the currents of the sea floor. But they're still over four feet thick to this day, so it's only natural that we finish off our list with the meteor impact that, well, impacted the world as we know it, and perhaps laid the foundation for our apish ancestors to one day inherit the Earth. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.